Today, it's going to be all about Truck Norris. Stick around, guys. Hey, hey, welcome back to Urban Outdoors. I'm Urban, and hey, I'm glad you're here. Today's video is going to be all about Truck Norris. That's right, that's my truck. I've had quite a few people frequently ask about my truck. I think from the last video that I did for Happy Prepper, um, I went to Truck Norris to get my bug out bag. And a lot of people from that video have asked, hey, that's a cool truck. What you got in it? So that's what I'm going to do. Plus, every six months I like to go through and take out everything that's in the truck and check it make sure nothing's out of date as far as food I have uh, six gallons of water that I need to change out and retreat with some bleach and uh, you know just do a checkup on everything that I have in the truck so first of all yes it is camouflaged and yes I did the camouflage paint myself so I'll take you with a take you on a walk around of the external part of the truck you can see here in the bed of the truck on the back tailgate I have taken a couple of shots I believe that was from a 30 alt 6 I was running some shine down at old man Hubbard's place and uh, somebody got wind of it hit out in the bushes tried to take me out as I was exiting with the with the shine so uh, yeah I got a few bullet holes there in the back but that's okay in the bed of the truck right now there's nothing a lot of times in the summertime I'll have a cooler up there sometimes I'll have a case of water fishing rods that sort of thing I do have my mud boots tucked in back there But it is just a truck. It is not four-wheel drive, unfortunately. It is a Ford F-150. And uh, it is a 1998. So Truck Norris is 22 years old. Yeah, he's getting up there. I don't know how many miles he has on him. Because the odometer stopped working at 162,458 and that was about 10 years ago I'm gonna guess he has well over 300,000 miles now but hey he runs great he don't look too bad he got some new shoes a few months ago and uh, so anyway, let's check out the inside now. All right, on the inside, you will see there are no bells and whistles, that's for sure. I do have a radio, a crack in the dash, so I put this speak sticker on there, or po uh, patch up there. But I've got AM, FM radio, heat and air, so that's a good thing. Up above the visor, I keep a... Uh, little headlight flashlight a tack force knife that has the glass breaker seat belt cutter I keep an extra flashlight as well up on top of the dash there I keep a pair of work gloves and my sunglasses here on the stick shift I keep a roll of duct tape in between the seat I have my emergency repair kit I made a video about this. You can scroll through my videos and find that. In the glove box, I have an extra pair of reading glasses, some dude wipes, all the information on the truck, another flashlight, mag light, a compass, an emergency road flare, some matches spark plug, whatchamacallit, pins, band-aids, sterile wipes. So just your typical 
glove box. Minus the gloves, huh? The gloves are up on the dash. Imagine that. Oh well. So yeah, that's what's uh, in the front and in the glove box. Which you're probably like, what do you have to worry about rotating out with that? Well, it's not that. It's what's behind the seat. It is just a two-seater, but it's what's behind the seat that I'm going to pull out for you guys. And if you look behind the seat, you will find all kind of stuff. I've got my bug out bag, my medical bag, sleeping bag, food. Over oh, there's another bag with clothing and tons of other items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all this stuff out and I'm going to put it on the tailgate. And then after I get all that stuff out on the tailgate, we'll go through the items because I do need to check the food for rotation and I need to change out the six gallon water. Stick around. All right, so here's all the stuff that's in the truck. All of this stuff fits behind the seat of the truck. Yeah, Truck Norris has got a heavy load, doesn't he? Well, what I've got over here, just start on the left side. I have a rain jacket and pants. I have an extra rain jacket. All of this stuff is because it's going to be not just me, but me and my wife. So I have rain gear for both of us. I have a warm weather hat and pair of heavy gloves here another hat I think I showed you this one before it's got the lights built into the bill and then another pair of earmuffs and heavy gloves and another heavy jacket so you always have to make sure that you prepare for who might be with you and it's not always gonna be just me my wife is most likely going to be with me too in the minimum an emergency. Maybe not, but maybe. Uh, here I have a tarp. It's just a, uh, I think it's an 8x8 tarp. An extra sleeping, ba sleeping bag. A, uh, this is my medical kit. I'm not going to go over all of the contents of it because I did make a video on that. If you're interested in what's in the medical kit, you can scroll through my videos and you will find that. Here is my bug out bag, which we're going to go through in just a moment because I need to check it. This bag here is a bag that my wife would carry. It has a couple of bottles of water in it, but mostly what's in this bag is extra clothing items. And, you know, because, you know, I've got some towels in there and uh, just uh, comfort items, more or less. Um, again, some more gloves. Forgot about those in there. Two more pair of heavy gloves. I think I've got the gloves covered. Got a little bag here. I don't even know what's in there. I'm going to put the camera up so I don't have to do things with one hand. Bear with me. All right, so yeah, we got this bag here, and I've already forgotten what's in there, to be honest with you. Okay, we've got some soap. This is a travel bag. Uh, it's got some, what is that? Toothpaste, some maxi pads, some little toothbrushes, disposable toothbrushes. There's a bar of soap. There's some hand sanitizer. There are some Q-tips. There are some deodorant. And there are some disposable gloves. Yeah, I kind of forgot that was in there. It's a little hygiene kit, I guess you would call it. More warm, more cold weather hats. I need to reevaluate this, guys. Here is a nice, another heavy jacket. down in the bottom two pair of jeans oh her jeans her jeans and my jeans some t-shirts so basically that bag is a comfort item bag I 
have got way too many warm weather, I mean cold weather items in there. I've got uh, what, four pair of warm or cold weather gloves and I've got four heavy knit stockings so I need to cut that back. Got two heavy coats so that's good. I got two sets of rain gear so that's good. But yeah, I need to cut back on the hats and the gloves. All right, so moving on, continuing to the right, I have a uh, trekking pole. We have an emergency floodlight, which it looks like it's working, but I need to check that tonight. And if I need to recharge it, just USB port there, I can recharge it. Have a uh, one of the military shovels. A lot of rope. This doesn't need to be in there. This is my kayaking PFD. I'll take that out. And then the last thing is a toolbox with all of the tools that you would need to do truck type of repairs. So that's the contents of what's behind there. What I need to do now, oh, and then there's this six gallons of water. And that's been in there for six months. So what I like to do is change it out. So I'm gonna dump this water out. And uh, I'm gonna replace it with six fresh gallons of water. But what I'll also do is I'll also put in one half teaspoon of Clorox bleach. And from what I've seen online and what I gather is that uh, for every five gallons you need a half a teaspoon of bleach. So this is a six gallon container. So, you know, a half of a teaspoon plus maybe a little teeny drop or two will be plenty. Alright, so the last thing I want to go through here is this food. You can see here, this is my emergency food storage that I have in the bed of the truck. I want to go through it. See through see if there's anything that needs to be rotated out or changed with this. So let's see what we got in here. I do have a, a manual can opener, some matches, some spice there with uh, a little bit of seasoning and salt and pepper, plastic forks and knives, um, bandana. Here we got several mountain house meals. Uh, two serving sizes. Looks like we got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then we have one of these emergency 2400 calorie. It's got a five year shelf life. Expiration date June 2023, 20, so we're still good with that. I've never tasted these before, but this is an emergency. Uh, situation so that's why we have it I imagine if you're hungry enough you'll eat it right and it'll give you the calories you need then we also have in here some of these pastas which are always easy to mix up family size so uh, two servings of each of those actually this is more than two servings but and then we have we can mix in with that pasta some hot buffalo style tuna creations. Expiration on these August 8th, 2021, July 5th, 2021. So we still got a little bit of time on those. And then the last thing that I've got in here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bottles of water. And again, I don't know if water has expiration dates on it or not. I always like to look at the uh, integrity of the bottles and the color of the water. It's still clear, cold, because it's so cold outside. Yeah, they don't have dates on them of any sort. So uh, the bottle seems to be good. The water doesn't seem to be discolored, so we're good with that. Ah, a little fork in there. And then I also have a, uh, this is a 
Frontier Emergency Filter. It's like the Life Straw. It's just a different brand. And uh, you put that through and just filters the water immediately. So there we go, guys. That's what I've got in the contents of my food storage. I think I need... All right, so what I need to do now is go through this bug out bag and make sure that, you know, everything's co kosher with it. So uh, let's dig into it. See, on the side pocket over here, I have a little first aid kit. Of course, I have my trauma bag in the truck, but if I uh, somehow get separated, my bug out bag and my trauma bag get separated, at least I have this small first aid kit. So that's on one side pocket. Let's see, on the other side pocket, I have another little tin, and inside it, I have a fire making kit. And, uh, Lots of stuff in there to make fire. Have some petroleum soaked cotton balls. Four quick fires. Some flint matches. A flint match. A jeweler's loop so I can use magnification to start a fire. Got some matches. Got a little ferro rod. A little knife for striking. And a windproof lighter and then some more little fuel cubes so all of that stuff fits nicely within this little tin that shuts up and I keep it closed with electrical tape right there that stays in this side pocket so I've got so I've got fire well covered in addition to always having a damn big lighter or some kind of lighter in my pocket, which I always do. Let's see, right here in the front pocket, I have an extra flashlight. This is a pit bull flashlight. This is the one I used to use when I worked for Terminex, crawling under houses. It's been beat to death. And uh, it's a very, very bright light. And uh, I need to check this tonight when it gets dark to see if I need to recharge it because I have the charger for it and uh, I need to check that and then I just have an extra little light that clips onto a hat and uh, you know it's got the bright LED light there so a couple of different methods for lighting I could carry the flashlight or I could put this on my hat my wife could carry the flashlight Again, if it's going to be you and somebody else, you got to make sure that you have enough for you and the other person. My wife would carry that bag that had the clothes in it because it's lighter, and I would carry this bag. All right, so opening up the main compartment, right on top I have some Tasco uh, binoculars. I have another pair of work gloves another see I can take this out well I'll leave it it's another warm, uh, cool weather hat um, 50 foot of 550 paracord uh, this is a little fishing kit it's got fishing line two bobbers that are wrapped with fishing line hooks sinkers weights jigs this little fishing kit so we could procure fish if we had to a uh, shamog which has got a hundred million uses I have in here my uh, SOG fusion tactical tomahawk with the uh, paint to match truck Norris I also have in here my Bear Grylls Gerber survival knife. It's got the ferro rod in there, more tender. It's got a sharpening stone. Great knife. I have also in here a uh, 
inside. I'm not going to take it out, but this is a foldable stove. It's like one of those little UST foldable stoves, you know, for cooking and stuff. I have my Eno hammock straps, and then I also have stakes in there and some paracord for the ridge line. And then, of course, I have the Eno hammock. I have a folding saw, so I've got the knife, the saw, and the uh, tomahawk for wood procurement. Extra little knife sharpener. An extra flare. Cook kit with numerous uses. A little fork, knife, can opener, bottle opener, spoon. A tarp to put over the uh, hammock. Or to have as a separate shelter. Or I could use it as a ground cloth. But with the hammock, the idea is to have an A-frame. An A-frame tarp on a ridge line then have the Eno double hammock and my wife and I can fit in that Eno Eno double hammock comfortably she's only five feet so we fit in there just fine and then I have this catadine water filter system you just pour the water in the filters right there 99.9 percent .9%. it's a good filter and then I have this little bag here, and it has many different items inside of it. Um, there is a, uh, got some super glue, some duct tape, some zip ties. I've got uh, another little repair kit. I'm not going to open it up. It's got some needles, some tape, more glue. Uh, another little first aid kit, little boo-boo kit. Hand warmers, hot hands, whatever you call them. Hot hands, hand warmers. So that's what goes in there. It's like a little repair bag. That might be redundant too because I have the other repair kit that I have on the bed of the seat of the truck. So I'm seeing some redundancy here, but it doesn't really affect the overall weight of things too much. I can still handle this bag. In that repair kit, I would grab and carabine it onto the outside of this. So I don't think I'm going to remove one of those repair kits. Better to have too much than not enough. Anyway, so there you have it guys. Uh, that bug out bag weighs just under 25 pounds. And uh, so it's very manageable. And I have all the bases covered. I believe I've got my 15 C's pretty well covered. So anyway, what's in your truck? Till next time, guys. Keep calm. Carry on. Keep it outdoors.